What's going on? This guy here, um, Sarang actually asked the question. He said, hey, why are we working out this n rather than working out 10? 10? 10's the question, right? As you can see in part A, right? The reason why I went to n, what we call the general case, is because you can use it for every other question you ever need to get asked, like part B. Okay? I've started from this, A of n, and then I've said, well, the money runs out when it gets to zero. Do you agree with that? Right? At some point, like, I don't know, n equals 20 or 30 or 40. At some point, it'll hit zero, and then you've got no more money to withdraw. Okay? So what I'm doing is I'm taking this whole A of n. That's everything in that red box there. And I'm letting it equal zero. And now I'm trying to solve. Okay? Now, the way you can know you're heading in the right direction is, see how the only unknown is n. So when I solve this, I'll get n equals something, which is what I'm trying to find out, a, a when this all takes place. Now, I'll admit it looks really terrible and intimidating, okay? but you have to stay with it, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay? From this line to this line, I have not done very much. Okay? This, is, this is the line as shown over there. What's the only difference between here and here? Denominator. Yeah, thank you. Just the denominator, I was like 1.04 minus 1, I can do that. Okay. The next thing I notice is, and um, when you get to it on your line, if you're not already up to it, I want you to notice, right, n is what I'm after, okay? but it's, it's tangled up. It's the index. right? So I'm like, I have to deal with this 1.04 to the power of n as well. I've got it there, and I've also got it here. So these two guys are kind of like my... My, they're my like terms. They're my x, and I'm trying to get them to simplify together. But right now, there's all this complicated arithmetic in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get that arithmetic out of the way. For starters, I notice, uh, I'll do it in orange, I notice that all of this stuff, it's just numbers. Do you agree with that? And I can put that into my calculator. This times this divided by that. Okay, so if you haven't already, maybe you've already gotten past this line of working in yours, but I haven't. Go ahead, can you work out what 75,000 times 1.04 divided by 0 0.04, can someone tell me what it is? Zero. I actually think it will be a very large number. <laughs> so, 195. One, oh, hold on, I'm getting, a couple, I'm getting a couple different numbers here. So, I, I've got my calculator here as well. We're doing 75,000 times 1.04 divided by 0 0.04. What did we get? I've got, I've got an answer here now. Yeah, 1? One? 195 and then 40. Okay, thank you. That matches what I've got. So just be careful. If you've got something different, um, it's super easy to just put a decimal somewhere else. Okay. Now this replaces all the stuff in my orange box. So now it's 1.04 to the n minus 1 equals 0. Okay. I'm keeping my eye on these guys here, right? They're the things that I want to collect together. All right? And you're like, oh, uh, I can just expand this, can't I? This guy here can just expand. I've got one million lots of this thing, like so. And then I'm going to minus this. That's how many other lots of it that I have. Is that OK? I've done this part, and then I've got, watch for the double negative, minus. 1.95 million plus. times minus 1, so it'll be plus uh, 1.95 million, right? Equals 0, okay? This still looks gross. There's still so much going on, but it's better, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree this is better than my top line? I've got no more fractions. I've got so... Um, I've got much fewer terms, right? I, I can work with this, right? My 1.04 to the power of n, there's a million over here, and there's... 1.95 million over here. So how many do I end up with? This, yeah, it's going to be a negative, right? It's going to be negative 950,000, I think. 1.04 to the power of n. Go ahead and check it if you want. A million, take away that, right? I've also got this guy, but that doesn't have anything to do with n. So I'm going to kick it over to the other side. Is that OK? So I will subtract. 1.95 million from both sides, which gives me this, like so. And now I'm on the home stretch. Look, this, this n is within grasp. I, I'm just going to divide through, like so, by minus 950,000. So the negatives are going to go, uh, like so. Is that OK? I'm, divi I'm dividing by this, right? Not only do my negatives go, but a whole lot of my zeros are going to go. Is that okay? Yeah? yeah. 39 over 19. 
30, yeah, uh, you can put that into your calculator again. Yeah, you just, just, just off the top of your head, right? 39 over 19. And we've seen this before. We've seen it before where the unknown is in the index. What do we got to turn this into? A log. Very good. I need, oh, I've got the space already. Okay. So I'm going to take log. Yeah, the base becomes, the base over there becomes the base. 1.04. Right. Uh, and then everything else rearranges. Okay. So I'm going to get 39 on 19 inside of this log. 39 on 19. That should be n. Right. You're going to need your log laws to deal with this because your calculator doesn't have base 1.04, it's only got base E and base 10. Doesn't matter which one you use, your log laws will tell you this for change of base. Wait, so why did you put 1.04? Oh, wait, no, that's Yeah, it's coming from here. It's coming from here. The base, the ba <laughs> careful, the base of your exponential will become the base of your log. Oh, 